are here for Hump the Earth. It's the highest point in the city. Cajamarca is Peru's, well at least north central Peru's most important city. Has a population of about 300,000. A large portion of which have uh, immigrated here in the last 35 years. This is the uh, various mines around the city. The city also has an important dairy production as well as tourism. The city is located in one of the largest Andean valleys in Peru. So it has a potential of becoming an even bigger metropolitan area. Combining with the neighboring town of Banos de Inca, which is famous for its hot springs, as well as the other kind of smaller settlements in the mountains around the city. Cajamarca is the capital of the department, which shares the same name. The architecture downtown is 17th century Spanish colonial. After the Spanish colonized Caramarca, they recognized its importance in terms of geography and resources. It was given a lot of resources to build various religious monuments such as the Santa Catalina Cathedral right here, unfinished, possibly because of the Latin American Revolution. You can tell that two towers were probably meant to be up here. It's built with volcanic stone. It is very ornate. A lot of details. Much like the Convento de San Francisco, which sits across the plaza from the cathedral. Which is also built of volcanic stone. But the Spanish were definitely not the first here in Cajamarca. It's believed that as early as 1500 BC, the Huacaloma people settled here. Main components of their diet were deer and guinea pig. Produce textiles. Played giant flutes. And smaller flutes. 
and were later uh, conquered by the Inca Empire. Relating to this, one of the reasons why Cajamarca is a popular tourist destination for Peruvians is because it was here that the uh, Incan Emperor Atualapa was um, captured and murdered by the Spaniard, Spaniard conquistador um, Pizarro. And in fact, this is the place that it happened right here. So this little building specifically is where it happened. It's the only uh, Incan building that's been preserved. So in 1532, the Incan Emperor Atahualpa was resting in the nearby hot springs, now called Baño de Linca, probably after that event. And the Spanish conquistador and his men, Francisco Pizarro, wanted to meet with him um, to discuss converting his people to the Catholic religion. Naturally, they did not want to do this. So they battle erupted. And Atahualpa was uh, captured and brought here. And was made to surrender immeasurable uh, amounts of gold and silver. But even after doing that, a year later, after the Spaniards got what they wanted, uh, this is where he was executed. Thank you.